Hi, how are you? Ken Arzon here, Vista, California, episode 106. Kiki Kyler. Cooler. Cooler. Sorry for getting it wrong, if I got it wrong. Kiki Cooler. 1921-1938. I know you haven't heard of them. I haven't either until I read the Baseball, National Baseball Hall of Fame, Almanac. He's in here. 1921-1938. 18-year career. 1,879 games. 8,140. 100 plate appearances. But here's a very good stat. 321 lifetime batting average. That's good. If you bat over 300 for your career out of 1,800 games, you're excellent. How many times over 300? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times. I like that. 2,299 hits. Started off slow, then really picked it up. 394 doubles. Only 128 homers, 1,000 RBI. How did he do it? Well, his first three years in the league, he only played 13 games. 1921 through 1923, 13 games, 10 hits. So you could say that he got 2,299 hits in 15 years. Very good ratio. In 1924, he had a good season. 165 hits, 354 batting average. 1925, he breaks out. 220 hits, 144 runs scored, 357 batting average, and 102 RBIs. How many 100 RBI seasons did he have? Three. How many 200 hit seasons? Three. And he had 197 another year, 189 another year, 185, 183. So this guy could hit. Kiki Cooler. Coiler. So 220 hits in 1925. Comes back the next year, 197 hits, 113 runs scored. 321 batting average. Very good. 92 RBIs. 1927, missed a lot of games, so only 88 hits. 1928, 142 hits. 1929, 183 hits. 360 batting average. 1930. This is his best year. 228 hits. 13 homers, 50 doubles, 134 RBI, and he bats 355. Played the entire season. So 1930, Kiki Kohler breaks out, and that's what earned him the Hall of Fame. 228 hits. That's a lot. And 741 at bats. 1931 comes back, 202 hits, bats 330. Listen to this 1930. Let me highlight this season again. 155 runs scored. You score 100, you're good. 155, 228 hits, 50 doubles. 134 RBIs and bats 355 and 741 at bats. That alone puts you on the map for the Hall of Fame, right? How many players have done that? How many players have 155 runs scored and 220 hits in the same season? I would say maybe he's the only one. You'd have to look it up. All right, came back, 1931, 202 hits. 1932, 130 hits. 
291, 1933, missed a lot of games, 83 hits, 317. 1934, comes back, 189 hits, 338 average. 1935, 98 hits. And then 36 season, he comes back, 37 years old, 185 hits, 326. This guy's a bona fide hitter. 1937, 110 hits, 271. And then 1938 is last year, 39 years old, 273 average. So he ends up with 2,299 hits, 394 doubles, and a lifetime batting average of 321. What do you think? You haven't heard of this guy. I haven't either. But he really performed on the field. All right, next in the countdown, Alan Trammell. Thanks for watching, and I'm out.